If you enjoy this video, consider supporting us on Patreon for just $5 a month. Click on the card in the upper right hand corner for more information. Good. Good etiquette. Good. Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. Today's video, um, this is a very interesting one. I get a ton of emails from a lot of different plugin manufacturers to review whatever uh, plugin that they have. And generally, they're pretty boring. I get like compressors and reverbs and stuff like that, and I generally ignore them. And every once in a while in my inbox, I get a really interesting one like today's video. The product we're covering today is by a manufacturer called Krotos. Um, I've never heard of them prior to this plugin, I'm going to be completely honest. Apparently, they do stuff with like uh, movie, film, uh, sound effect people and game sound effect stuff. And this plugin is inherently a film or game sound effect generation tool. And it's a plugin that I saw in my inbox. I'm like, that can't be real. I have to try this for myself. And uh, it is one of the few that I actually responded to. So today's video, we're going to be reviewing Weaponizer by Krotos. Um, this is a gun synthesizer. Uh, they sampled a ton of different firearms and they made a synthesizer where you can mix and match different gun sounds to make your own game or movie sound effects. So... Um, such a cool idea that I had to try this for myself. It seems kind of ridiculous, but we're going to see today if it's really capable and um, make some cool gun sounds with it, I guess. So uh, let's hop into the studio and get started. All right, so we are now in Ableton Live, as you can see on the screen here. We're going to go ahead and load it up. Uh, Weaponizer by Krotos. Let's get this thing open. Now, again, this is just such a ridiculous idea that I had to try it out for myself. Um, let's see if it loads that preset up and, uh, I'm going to make sure my volume is not too loud here so it doesn't break ears, but, oh God, here we go. So let's take a look at what we have here. I haven't really messed with it at all. I've had this plugin for a few weeks, but I've been really uh, busy with other things. So this is kind of like a live reaction as well. Bear with me here. I'm not like a firearm expert, so we're just going to kind of browse through all this stuff and find cool sounds um that's really interesting so i'm assuming burst mode enables like a like a um automatic yep and then fire rate i'm assuming is the speed yep it's more so a delay between shots as you can see it's counted in millisecond i don't know why they had to include the thousandth thousandth place on that decimal point there it seems kind of redundant but um, apparently they wanted to get really precise that's cool so apparently it's kind of like kick 2 if you've seen my review of kick 2 where you combine different sounds if you guys want to check out that review by the way you can click on the upper right hand corner that's one of the other plugins that I had to review and it's now one of my favorite t plugins um, side note uh, it's kind of like kick two in that you're combining different layers of sounds to make the entire body of the gun. As you can see, there's onset, body, thump, and tail. Um, and these are all the different sounds that make up a gunshot, I reckon. So let's turn off burst mode and let's dial in one single sound here. So the, the sound that we're using right now is an AK-47 single shot on gun A. Um, I'm assuming A is the key. That doesn't sound right, but um, I don't know what else that could be. Uh, single shot, uh, AK-47. So this is basically an AK-47 um, synth or, or preset. Um, let's see if we can find any factory presets. Okay, so they have, they have factory ones as well. Okay, so we must be using like the AK-47, one of them. Um, this is kind of interesting. I would say like an M4 automatic. Let's see how that sounds. Okay. So what I want to try to do is mess around with the sound a little bit here. I think we can solo uh, different elements. Let's try this. Okay. So it seems as a randomizer here. Let's try to load in a different sound. Um, 
it seems that the randomizer is based on these different sounds here. So if, if I clear these out, let's say we drag in a sample here. So this is our onset. This is like our initial thwack. Um, let's try a pistol and mix and match some sounds here to see if we can come up with an interesting, like, fictitious gun. Let's try that one out. I don't know how that's going to sound, but let's see. Let's mute these guys and slow that burst rate a little bit. So this is like a a um, the the body of the thwack. It's like the click, the transient. We have the thump, which is like the low end, I reckon. Cool, that's interesting. Um, I want to try to use the synth here. This is kind of. Um, kind of uh, intriguing to me. I think it's more for like laser sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the body. I'm going to mute everything except for the synth and I'm going to turn the synth on and then we're going to try to make like a laser like phaser thing. Um, I think that would be interesting. Okay, that's the FM. I don't want to use this at all. And I want the pitch to go down, I think. I think. Like a like a laser, so let's try this and bring the pitch up here. And the amplitude I'm gonna I'm gonna make it sharp too, so we get more of a So is there a way I can uh maybe not. Turn this up more. Interesting. Um, let's drag this out a little bit more here. That's sounding more like it. If we, yeah, I don't want these. I just want um, I want to fill it out a little bit more. Let's see if we unmute some of these. So this is like our envelope of amplitude, I believe, for each one of these samples. Um, and we aren't going to layer all of these. I'm just trying to make a simple laser here. Uh, let's try this. So I'm assuming that the depth knob uh, adjusts how much the the envelope controls the pitch. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drag this up. I'm trying to make like a like almost like a Halo style, like old school phase whatever um blaster almost so i'm going to try some fm here let's see if we can get this to do anything i don't want it to be like destroying the sound but you can already see how how much potential this has for developing sound for games and stuff um where you can layer in different samples from several weapons and these are actually really well recorded it's really hard um I was going to do a sample pack based on guns a while ago. Um, I have a friend who does all that firearm stuff. And we couldn't get the recordings to sound good. And these are actually really um, well recorded. And it's very hard to do that. So I applaud them in that. And these recordings in and of themselves are kind of a gold mine here. Not sure how much the plugging costs. But if you're going for something for like movie or game sounds... As you can see, it's very flexible in that you can mix different layers and different, um, I don't know, different different sounds from different well-recorded guns and, and even a synth oscillator or multiple oscillators because the, um, the FM system. Um, you can mix in different sounds and make cool weapon sounds for whatever you're working on. So if you're a game developer or if you're making gun oriented music for whatever reason that you'd want to do that or if you're making hip hop <laughs> and you just want a really crisp gunshot or if you're making a movie and you want to fill it with you know whatever let's make this really quick you can do that with weaponizer by Krotos that's sounding more like it let me just tweak this a little bit more here turn the pitch up
And I've actually read into it, you can actually trigger the fire button with a MIDI note. Let me see. So it's it's just C4 if, if you play. Oh, that's that's funny, actually. C4 is a explosive. And if you play the C4 note, then it'll fire. Cool. That might have been smarter while I was actually working on the sound um, to have that going on loop. That would have been really smart, actually. And you can see there's other stuff too, like you can adjust the timings of when each one of these layers activates um, here in this kind of like a hybrid envelope slash timeline view. And you can also mix um, each one of the elements here and you can do uh, send and return and insert effects for all of these different things. As you can see right here, I'm not gonna go too in depth on it, just wanted to give my first impressions on this plugin because it was so wild and I saw it in my inbox and I had to do it. Um, you can pick up this plugin in the link in the description below. Again, I'm not sure of the cost, but it seems very an invaluable tool for someone who's doing Foley for games or movies or something like that. So if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you didn't give it a dislike and let me know why in the comments below make sure to give me future suggestions for videos down there as well if you want your product like this reviewed by the way there's an email in the about section on my youtube channel page that you can send in your plugins and i may or may not review them if you make something cool and interesting like this that i don't see all the time and um, want to show the world I've done a, several reviews like that, and um, your product might just get featured. Um, I started doing I started doing a comment slash tweet uh, uh, features at the end of the video in the end card. You'll see that in a few few seconds. Um, and uh, make sure to leave a comment down there if you want to be featured at the end of the video. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I make a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I can. And I'm not super ill or busy or traveling or something like that, which is pretty common for me. But when I'm at home, I make three videos a week. And make sure to subscribe with the little bell icon if you want to see those videos. I hate to ask you guys that, but YouTube's so broken now that it's kind of necessary for us. And um, without any further ado, I am Julian of Julian Gray Media, as always, and I will talk to you in the next one. Make sure to check it out Weaponizer for yourself, again, if you're a Foley artist or something like that, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.